you might have a lot of friend and you could categorize them several way and if i go to the code and do some cleanup first we don't need this to thing for example you want to categorize your friend since you are a developer you will do the categorize little weird way say you want to know whether your friend knows javascript this is little mean but we'll do it and we will make it as an observable property and since we don't know much about the friend we will keep it as a false if we want to display this property in the UI, we can easily do it. Say I will make it little prettier and we want to display whether the friend knows JavaScript. We can make a checkbox. So input type is equals to checkbox and we can do a data bind. And if we want to bind to the checkbox, we have to say like checked and the name of the property no JS. Remember the by default value is false. So if you save it, go to the UI, refresh it, you will see a checkbox next to every friend's name. They are unchecked because our default value is false. If you want to know more about the friend, you will ask more weird question like what is the favorite library and we will make it this observable and we don't know the favorite library first, we will make as an empty text. And if you want to display in the UI, you can make an input and your data bind you remember for a input text box we'll make it as a value and name of the property is favorite library and we'll close the tag save it you go to the ui you refresh now you can see an input text box next to every friend name and you can put favorite library's name here but this is not very good look at the checkbox the checkbox next to tim's name is unchecked that means he doesn't know javascript and if he doesn't know javascript there is no point to displaying this text box next to his name so we can easily make it prettier workable you go there we can easily extend the binding and tell knockout hey knockout this would be visible only my friend knows javascript that means knockout will display this guy when the friend knows javascript we save it go to the ui by default none of my friend knows javascript so this input box is not displayed but if i check it this is displayed i can put jquery and if i check to the team's name i can put something here and that's how knockout makes things very interesting interactive and easy to work with